So we're going to have a look at some chest percussion. This is a physiotherapy technique that's going to put some vibrations through the chest wall to help loosen up the secretions that are there, make it easier for somebody to cough up. This is something that you need to have had at least a chat with your physiotherapist if, or your GP to make sure that there's no reasons why you can't do this with somebody to make sure it's the right technique for them. Um, so there's a few things to make sure that your patient is comfortable to start with. So you've got a pillow between somebody's knees. Have a think if somebody's not quite a symmetrical shape, what the, the most comfortable way of them lying is um, and watch out for anything like pegs and catheters and stuff like that to, to make sure that somebody's nice and comfortable. So we're going to be using a cupped hand as if you're scooping up some water. That's going to make a little air pocket so you're not making a horrible slapping sound. It's a nice hollow sound when you're doing it. We're going to go across any available lung space. So we're coming up to here. Your lungs do come a bit further up, but we've got some muscles and bones around there. Down to your spine and down to the bottom of your rib cage. No lower because that's just his tummy. We can't get any, recover, any vibrations into his, into his lungs from there. Um, generally, it's not going to do any damage to the person. A t-shirt would be okay. You can use a towel or a folded up blanket if you like for a bit of extra padding. I'm going to pop my blanket over there. We're just going to have a nice cupped hand and a nice one to two beats per minute, per second. moving across the lung area that you can get to nice and steady, keep an eye on your patient, make sure that they're comfortable and they're not showing any signs of distress. So we've got a nice floppy wrist and keeping that cupped hand. then be repeated on the other side. We're going to aim for about five minutes on each side, building up to about ten minutes. We'll show you again some other positions that you can do this in if someone's not able to tolerate side lying. The side lying is also quite good for it. It'll help gravity to let some of the, the mucus and secretions that are in your lungs drain into the middle and enable you to cough it up a bit quicker, a bit easier. Um, it might take about 20 minutes for this to have an effect on somebody, so you might do it and not really very much happens. And then about 20 minutes later, they might have a bit of a coughing fit and be able to cough up some of the, the secretions that are in their chest and into their mouths. Have a look at doing some percussion in sitting. Um, Maybe somebody's not very happy in lying, they're not able to breathe very much, they're not comfortable, so we can have a look at doing it in, in some other positions. So again, our lungs are coming all the way up here, um, down to the bottom of the rib cage, around here. We're avoiding the top of the shoulder because there's too much muscle here to get any, any percussion into the chest, but we can go through, leave it around somebody's back. Again, making sure you've got the cupped hand and a nice floppy wrist so that you're not slapping the person. And you can do 